Internet source of all evil here with your host, me, Fish. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a review of a movie I just watched. It was a really good movie. Um, obviously, you'll know what it is already because you've read the title of this video. Anyway, Blood of the Tribbids. I think that's how it's pronounced because they say it in the movie. I think that's how they say it in the movie. Um, anyway, now this is a very low budget movie, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Uh, there's a lot of really good movies that are really low budget. Uh, this one just happens to be uh, kind of um, an homage to uh, the older six late 60s early 70s maybe even through the 80s um, um, sexploitation ploit bleh, sexplore sexploitation um, vampire erotica type movies uh, not porn uh, not like NC-17 or rated X or triple X or anything uh, more like the R-rated type stuff uh, but um, you know like like the classic movies like uh, Vampire Lovers and uh, uh, Blood and Roses. Uh, vamp I don't know if this next one I'm going to mention is even if I'm pronouncing it right. Vamp Vampiros Lesbos. Uh, but, um, you know, like those kind of movies. In other words, it's going to be uh, a lot of lesbian stuff and a lot of nudity. It's really uh, not that much sex in there. Uh, I don't really remember seeing any sex at all. I mean, I'm not saying I wanted to see porn or anything, you know. There's sex scenes in R-rated movies, probably even PG-13 movies. But uh, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, so I, I, I guess the sexploitation angle is kind of off as for a description of it. But um, nonetheless, it does have some good nudity in it. It also has male nudity in it, which uh, is rare in movies, especially Hollywood movies. Uh, this is not a Hollywood movie, obviously, but uh, so it's rare, rare to see that. I'm, I'm not talking about just you know dude butts. It's got dick. So there's plenty of dick shot for all you, you ladies out there and all you gay dudes. Um, I didn't care. For it myself but but it didn't bother me either because you know I've seen porn and obviously you're going to see dick but um, that's beside the point um, anyway the movie is basically uh, about lesbian vampires that have uh, defected from a, uh, a group of uh, men who basically were trying to control them you know, it, it, it kind of like mimics uh, religion where, where the women are to be subservient and, and they got to listen and do anything the man says or whatever. Uh, that's basically what these women were trying to get away from because the men were trying to basically control them, tell them what to do. Say, hey, you're my wife. You're my woman. You got to bear me children. You got to do this. You got to do that because I say so because I'm a man. That's basically what it comes down to, the reason they left. I mean, that's what I get out of it. I'm not sure if that's what the filmmakers intended or not. And also, it seems to be uh, um, a commentary on, on, on certain religious aspects besides just the anti-female aspect of religion. There's the um, cultishness of uh, certain religious followers who, who, who just, you know, take shit so literally. And uh, I think uh, that's what I get out of it. But anyway, back to the actual review of the movie uh, instead of my little side comments there. The uh, very beginning, uh, basically starts off with nudity right away which is not a bad thing 
especially with the chick they had in, in that bathtub scene in the beginning. She was freaking hot. Um, but um, she's a vampire. We don't know. She's just, you know, taking bath. We just think there's some dude is curving on her out the window. Uh, and he kills, he shoots the little mini, looks like a Nerf bow and arrow kind of thing, crossbow. Shoots her, kills her, and that's when we see that she was a vampire. Uh, but, um, like I said, it's basically the, the, the women have defected from that religion of Bathor. Um, he's like the god or the lord or whatever, um, which you don't see. Uh, I won't give any spoilers if you eventually see him or not. You gotta watch it to find out. And, uh, yeah. My, my mind is just going blank. Um, uh, got the movie right there. Now we could just go ahead and read the back of it. It says, 2,000 years after the coming of the great vampire Bathor, superstition and religious violence abound. When the men are afflicted with a mysterious illness, see, I forgot about that, the vampire women are blamed for their ills, and thus the hunt begins. Long forgotten lovers, Elizabeth and Fantine, discover uh, it is their fate to place together the past before Bathar's impending return and judgment. So, uh, yeah, they got these, like, boils or scars or some shit all over their faces. And um, so they blame the women. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but it's not the women who are at fault. Not really the men either, uh, but watch it and you'll see. Um, but like I said, it, it is a good homage to classics, uh, ploitation type movies, vampires, lesbos, whatever. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that movie right. Because <laughs> um, it sounds to me like the word lesbos is like a... a a derogatory term for lesbian, uh, which it is, but I'm sure that's not how they intended it for that movie title that I'm referring to. But back on track to the Blood of the Tributes. Um, like I said, it, it, it's all that. Um, harkens back to like Hammer uh, films, especially the scenery, the locations that they shot it at. Um, I think it's all in America. I'm not sure, but there are great looking locations, very uh, gothic-y, very Hammer film-ish location looking, and that is really awesome in my book. I, I, because you know I love the Hammer films, and uh, so this you know a great homage to that. Uh, it's also uh, the soundtrack. Um, Obviously, it's not, you know, big orchestra or whatever and all that, but it is really good. Um, I'm not sure um, who is behind the music. Uh, I saw in the credits, I think it said Night Kisses, which may be a band or something. Uh, if you know anything about them, the movie or anything, comment below and correct me uh, or inform me, whatever, whether I'm wrong or if I'm not wrong or I'm just misinformed or whatever. But, um music was great um, it really blended well with the scenes that don't move in whole so um, uh, I'm not the best reviewer in the world so forgive me if this review doesn't even bother, get you to bother with it but um, if you like watching my videos you know just for my unboxings or whatever and you want a recommendation for a horror movie this is not really a scary horror movie it's horror because of the vampire aspect uh, otherwise it's I guess it would be more like a good drama I don't know uh, 
But like I said, it is really good. It's got vampires, it's got blood, plenty of blood. And it's got plenty of nudity. So that's good. Even male nudity if you're into that. Um, so um, check it out. Um, if you didn't get this month's horror pack, you're not getting it. But you can order this Blu-ray or DVD or even VHS. Yes, this is on VHS. Uh, through Amazon. Well, you can't get the VHS through Amazon, but I think it comes out at the end of April. Uh, in the meantime, it's a horror pack exclusive until it releases in the end of April. Uh, of course, uh, when if you order it, you won't get the horror pack, you know, the number eight and then the horror pack logos and all that. It, it'll just be this cover without the horror pack stuff. But, um, get it. I mean, if you don't want to spend like $15, $20, I don't remember how much uh, the pre orders were for it on the Blu ray. DVD is obviously going to be cheaper, and VHS is going to be more expensive for some reason. Uh, you don't want to spend the money on it, you can rent it digitally from Amazon and some other places for like five bucks or something. Uh, but uh, otherwise, um, sorry, I'm so long winded about this. Uh, not the greatest reviewer, but if you actually paid attention to the stuff that I reviewed about the movie, in between pointless rants and whatnot, uh, then you'll probably uh, end up wanting to catch catch this flick and see it. So uh, that's it. Um, Till next time, I will be um, doing more reviews, obviously, uh, more sarcastic reviews, just like this one. Uh, craptacular if you will like I used to say in my older videos and uh, like my video or any of my other videos subscribe to my channel if you want and uh, stay tuned uh, I'll be doing more videos soon alrighty